As schools around the country get set for week one of the college football season, the one the only Mel Kuyper Jr. along with Todd McShay are already looking ahead to the 2020 NFL draft in an article that is now posted to ESPN.com. And Mel is here with us. Mel, it's never too early to start looking ahead to this stuff. Who do you see as the 2020 NFL draft top overall prospect as we sit here right now? Based on grade, not mock draft projections, Grinny, it would be Jerry Judy, wide receiver from Alabama, who had a spectacular year. Obviously, he's going to have another big year with the two of throwing the football. you got Henry Ruggs there as well, host of outstanding receivers, Jalen Waddell, the great sophomore. So I think uh, Jerry Judy's one of many receivers in this draft. T. Higgins, Clemson. you got Grant Delpit, the safety at LSU, and Chase Young, defensive end, Ohio State. So it's strong at the top, but I think the best player, Going into this season is Jerry Judy, wide receiver, Alabama. And Mel, help me. I can't quite remember. Has a receiver ever gone number one overall? It's, it's not jumping out to me right now. Is, any receivers ever go number one overall? It's like, what, 24 years ago, maybe, or somewhere around there, you know, that some receiver from USC maybe went number one. Oh, I don't Keyshawn, quite remember his He's name. ignoring me. Look at Keyshawn. He's ignoring me. I'm giving him all this love. Sorry, I was <laughs> talking on the side, boy. Yeah. <laughs> that, by the way. pretty well for me, though. Thank you. It, it was, it was, it was. Okay, that wasn't exactly how I planned for that to go. Let's move forward. Uh, let's talk about Jerry Judy's quarterback at Alabama. That, of course, is Tua Tongo Vailoa, who has gotten an extraordinary amount of attention and struggled down the stretch last year. What do you need to see from him this year for the evaluation? Well, they obviously stay healthy, but I, the, the arm strength, I think that's something you need to improve on as we move forward, and it happens with quarterbacks once they get in the NFL. It happens with kids in college, like Tua. I think you'll see improvement there. He has all the receivers that you need. He certainly has the talent around him to have a spectacular year. The schedule the schedule very much cooperates as well. Uh, I think, uh, you know, Tua, just a little bit more velocity, Greeny, and he certainly, we know, could be in line and will be in line to be the number one pick overall. Yeah, he'll be battling it out, we would assume, with Justin Herbert, the kid from Oregon that we were just talking about. We will see him Saturday night on ABC in this huge game against Auburn, which will be very interesting. He made an interesting decision. He could have come out last year. Do you see that decision paying off for him this coming year? I think it was the only decision. It was very wise decision. He did not look like a first-round draft choice last year. I think he will this year. He may look like the number one pick overall. Physically, he looks that part. He's got to be more accurate on a consistent basis, make better decisions, get that ball out of his hand. If it all comes together for Herbert with his skill set, he will challenge to be the number one pick in the draft and challenge Tua to be the first quarterback taken. But where they are right now is the way I grade kids, Greeny. I don't worry about what they will be. I worry about what they are. That's why the big board is the stock exchange moving up, moving down. Right now, Justin Herbert does not deserve to be in that top five, but he certainly could be if that improvement takes place. All right, and so Tua and Herbert have gotten a lot of attention. Give me other quarterbacks that we should be keeping an eye on that could be moving up on these draft boards. Well, Jacob Beeson at Washington, a transfer from Georgia. This is his year. This is his time to shine. He has the receivers, the line. He's got the running back. He's got everything in place to have a big year. He's got big-time size, big-time arm talent. He could certainly rise very highly up the board. And certainly, you look at a guy like Jordan Love, quarterback at Utah State. Now, well, the problem there is you're at Utah State. You've got a new coach, new coordinator, okay? you got four new receiving entities, three new receivers, new tight end, four new offensive linemen, and your top running back's gone. And you got to play LSU on the road October 5th. So his numbers may come down from 64%, 32 touchdowns, six picks, but Jordan Love can spin it, and he's had a great year when he gets some help. Whether he gets enough help this year remains to be seen. You can get more from Mel and McShay again. Their guide to the college football season with 25 NFL draft questions is up right now on ESPN.com. We're so glad you're watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, make sure you subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.